It's switching gears now. Radical animal activists, they want to shut down a zoo near you. They go so far as wanting to make it illegal for you and I to own a house pet. As crazy as that sounds, the radical activists are busy at work. And now the state of Washington is considering making it a crime to hold a whale or a dolphin in an aquarium. This is what happens when radical activism goes unchecked. Joining me at this time to t tune in on a story is from, this, from Washington, D.C. with the Center for Pu Public Policy Research is Jeff Steer. Jeff, welcome. Hey, Rick, good to be back with you. Jeff, this sounds foolish. The state of Washington is considering making it a crime for whales and dolphins to be in an aquarium. How did we get here in the state of Washington? A crime punishable by six months in jail. The fine wasn't enough. Well, you know, the radical animal rights activists don't think humans should own animals, should have animals in zoos. So there was this absurd CNN uh, documentary, if you want to give it that much credit, called Blackfish, uh, which has already been discredited, uh, that got people thinking, well, we shouldn't have whales or dolphins, orcas uh, in aquariums. So that's kind of where they're starting. But this is not about SeaWorld and, and orcas. This is about this, this radical environmental view that we humans should not own animals for entertainment or other uses. They should be out in nature being happy. Would that include dogs and cats? At, at, the, at the end of the day, are they ultimately Eventually, going that far? You know, the radical environmental activists, the radical animal rights activists, don't want humans to be in charge of nature. So right now, the legislation in Washington state is limited, that's under consideration, is limited to uh, dolphins, whales, orcas, but that's not where the agenda is limited to. Right. So this is a first step. Uh, but, th but these radical animal rights groups, whether it's PETA or the Humane Society, are on record about their view on this. They don't want uh, animals in captivity. So first, it's the whales. Next, it's the zoo. Uh, and soon, it's Fido. All right. Well, here, here's what I'm getting at, Jeff. How do they get so much? It, it's, it's extreme. It's foolish. As you say, what's happening now is not as extreme as the agenda. But how do they get lawmakers to give it serious consideration? Because what they do is uh, they'll start with something relatively small. There are no aquari There are no sea worlds, at least, uh, in Washington state. So they say, well, this... This won't really impact business in Washington state. Mm. But they've already got a law on the books like this in San Francisco, Ontario, Canada, uh, New York, where there is, again, no SeaWorld. Uh, but what they want to do is they want to kind of get a foothold in uh, and then start advancing it from there. There's no question about it that the agenda of these groups is a radical one. Their strategy is more limited. I'll give you an example. In 2011, PETA filed a lawsuit in federal court uh, not too far from you in Southern, in, in Southern California to say that SeaWorld was in violation of the 13th Amendment of having slaves, those slaves being orcas. Oh, man. Whales. Uh, that's how, uh, thankfully, it got thrown out of court. But that legislative, uh, their, their litigation strategy didn't work, so now they're trying a legislative strategy. But it all goes back to this ideology that humans ought not to have whales, dolphins, elephants in zoos, and then again, going down to pets. They, ju they just, part of the ideology is that right. we shouldn't be in charge of All animals. Right, listen, Jeff and that's Steer, what the fight here is about. Jeff Steer, it's an important uh, story from the standpoint that we wanted to bring you on so we can expose what happens when radical activism goes unchecked. I really appreciate the way you broke it down. There's the agenda, and then there, there's where these people are today. And by the way, this applies, as you know, not just to animal activism. It applies to so many other uh, causes, if you will, primarily on the left. Oh, where Precisely. You have this radical agenda, and you chip away, you chip away, you chip away until you can uh, ha have a greater impact. Jeff Steer, National Center for Public Policy Research, thank you for joining us.